people really seem to like my product, but they don't seem to be using it. Should I build more features? Should I try another MVP? It's a question I get a lot from startup founders, especially technical founders who have the capacity and capability to build product or build more features. That's easy for them. And so they tend to lean into that as the solution. If the product isn't working, or if I'm not getting the traction I thought I should with customers, then maybe, maybe what I need to do is build more features <laughs> into that product because that's where they're comfortable and that's where they exist. But for those founders, my primary question is often, how's your onboarding? Like, are you teaching people how to start using the product? Are you teaching them how to be successful with the product? Are you educating them on why you built the product in the first place? Because that can make a huge difference on helping people use your product. So that could be documentation. It could be things like how-to videos. Could be a newsletter with tips and tricks. On, on how to use your product or what's going on in the industry that makes your product more relevant. Long story short, you need to go at it as if you know nothing about your product and not let the curse of knowledge really prevent you from helping your end user. Your end user knows nothing about your problem about your product. They know about the problem. They potentially want a solution, especially if they tell you that they like the way you're thinking about solving the problem. But they don't know how to use the product and they don't know how to be successful with it. So before you write another line of code, document the onboarding, give them step-by-step -step kind of how-to things record video walkthroughs to demonstrate what you're doing with the product. Again, start some regular communications like a newsletter or a Discord so that you can communicate directly with those users and figure out why they're having issues onboarding with your product. And if you do that, you will see one of two things. One, you'll see better traction and better onboarding and better success with your customers, or you will identify gaps in your product that will help you figure out what feature may need to be added or if the product is even relevant. And then if the product <laughs> winds up being irrelevant, if you're off base and you hear that from the customer base, that can be disconcerting and disappointing but the best part about going through that whole process is no matter what you build next, you will recognize the kind of onboarding, materials, content, education, your potential target market needs to be successful with any product that you build. And sometimes for a startup, that can be the hardest thing. Sometimes for a product person, that can be the hardest thing to press pause and realize it's not obvious how to use what you've built. Take the time to explain it.